Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and you may have heard that there are reports of 150,000 Chinese troops massing on North Korean border. According to Daily Caller News Foundations, which is a site I uh, highly respect, it's a fake news story. Apparently, uh, somebody lied. Now, let's make no mistake. I'll come back to this site in a minute, but make no mistake. The situation is extremely serious. We're uh, sending the fleet over there, at least portions of it. We're sending Carl Vinson Battle Group over there as a show of force. Now, this, there is no diplomatic solution here. They've tried and tried, they've tried for 20 years. There's no diplomatic solution at all. Uh, so either China's going to have to remove him, which I'm not going to do, or we're going to have to remove that a uh, little pot billy pig there. One of the two. Somebody's going to have to do something where we're going to have wind up having a nuke land on us, or Japan will. If we don't do something, Japan just might. Alright, we're going back to Daily Caller. Okay. U.S. Pacific Command refused to comment on foreign troop movements. However, they did tell the DCNF that first they that, that was first they had heard of the Chinese troop movements along the border was when a reporter called for comment. So apparently. Unless they're lying, apparently there are no uh, Chinese troops massing on the border. The idea was that they would handle the refugees from North Korea should war break out. Uh, well, somebody's lying. The Chinese Foreign Ministry called such reports pure fiction with Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokes, spokeswoman. Not going to happen. I have no idea where these reports are coming from. The story originated with South Korea's chosen libo, which cited a Japanese paper and reported that there are rumors Chinese troops, medical and support units, so I don't deal with the potential North Korean refugee crisis and other possible problems that might arise from the contingency on the Korean Peninsula. Sip of coffee. The report also suggested that China mobilized submarine ground troops, but so far there's been no evidence to corroborate this report. Media outlets in the past have reported that China has moved troops to the border after various incidents, such as the assassination of King Jong Un's brother Kim Jong Nam. At this time, reports suggested that China moved a thousand additional troops to the area. While that may have been possible, a movement of 150,000 troops in an area where the war could break out at any time is unlikely to go undetected by U.S. Defense Department and U.S. allies in Asia. So there you have it. It appears that this is a fake story. Don't count on it, but... Now, like I said, we're going to have to do something about North Korea sooner or later. We can't, aff can't afford to wait much longer. We know they have ballistic missiles. We know they have the bomb. You really want to take a chance on their landing a nuke on Hawaii or on the West Coast? There is no diplomatic solution. 
we have a madman running that country. He's insane. So, I have to support Trump if he takes action. I would support Hal Graham Hillary if she was in there and she took action. You have to. Uh, there is no diplomatic solution. <coughs> They're insane. That dictator's insane, he's got to be taken down. The artifacts of Mars. Uh, if there is a god up there, he can help us. You know what I like to say? If you know God's address, uh, please tell me so I can go visit him. Thanks for watching.